guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for joining me today what a beautiful day to have a good day i am obviously wearing a face mask because i am preparing for an event later today it is the vip event of clinique's hydration renaissance for their moisture surge 100 hour moisturizer <laughs> i don't know anyone so this is really gonna test me and challenge me and <laughs> try to meet new people so i'm curious to see what event this will be like it's definitely a step outside of my comfort zone so yeah and i'm taking you guys along with me the makeup look i'm going for today is this inspiration is myself um i did this makeup yesterday and it literally took me 10 minutes but i'm gonna try and recreate it for you guys so you can see how i did it there are some hacks in there that i have been doing for a really long time the inspiration behind all these hacks someone stole my makeup bag when i did a pageant in the philippines i literally had to use what i could with what i had left at home hopefully you guys can also see the use of it and input it in some of your daily life makeup routine but yeah let's get started i'm gonna use my fit me maybelline concealer in the shade 25 i think or medium it has a bit of a coverage which i like but not too much i'm gonna put it everywhere i don't really like to put foundation or concealer on my nose just because i do like the look of my freckles i'm actually really really excited for today because it is my first event here in sydney and it's for clinique which is a brand i have used and loved before especially the moisturizer it's very rare that i go to events or like i advertise products just because i ensure that what i advertise or i share online aligns with my values so i'm really happy that it's clinique and they reached out to me which i'm so glad about I'm actually quite nervous for today because I am quite a homebody. I haven't met many people here in Sydney as well. So I'm interested to know what kind of personalities there are here in this event. We'll see. Like that. Ooh. So much product. We're gonna try and blend that out. I'm just gonna use the same brush. Very dark concealer by Makeup Forever. Mix it with some concealer as well, just because this is really pigmented. I like this color though, it's very bronzy. I don't necessarily want to look skinny because I feel like sometimes in some angles my face looks really, really skinny. When I first started using it, I thought it was like the worst color because it's very orange, but I actually really like it now. Also, sorry that I keep looking at myself. I'm using my phone as a mirror. This is the hack that I like to do. I use liquid lipstick as blush as well as my eyeshadow. And this lipstick is by Nude by Nature. There it is. In the shade Natural. I just went like this. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that's too much. That as well. Eyelid. <gasps> Stop. There. And whatever residue I have left of that blush, I put it on my forehead to give me that sunburnt look this is a trick i learned as well from makeup artists they take like a small brush put the translucent powder in and then they go like this my next hack is probably the most important hack because this is what makes my makeup look really really peachy this palette is the morphe painted dessert 9d i use this peach product as like an overall powder because i want to have that summer glow I use this literally everywhere and it makes the whole look come together and makes it look really really natural without putting too much like cream or powder on top. I have used this so many times, almost every day. It's only just hitting the pan. So I genuinely think this palette is so worth it and it's not very expensive either. For the people in the Philippines, you can just get this from that beauty store in SM Aura called Look, I think. I'm gonna go in with my Bahama Mama Contour Bronzer. Again, I don't wanna look too bony, so I'm just gonna put it slightly just above the cheekbone. You wanna look like a bronze goddess. We're just gonna take the exact same color. I'm running out, so I need to buy a new one of this. And we're gonna put it all over our lid. 
Once I blend all of that in, take a little bit of that bronzer, contour your nose a little. And then I do like a little button nose situation. Now we are going to take a fluffy brush and blend everything in because the next part is really important. As you can see from my eyelids, I do have a bit of a hooded eye. Recently, I learned that it's not a great look for me to have dark colors like in this corner because it makes it even heavier. So this technique that I started doing just opens up my eyes a little bit and I'm going to show you guys what that is. So I just take my Dior palette. You can use any palette that has like any of your favorite colors. I'm going to use maybe this one. So what I do is put it on my crease area, just above my crease area. Because if, if you put it in your crease, it's just going to eat it up. You see? Like that. You start off with that area first. This part is really important. I literally go from here to there to like that. So I don't put any color down here. It's almost like a cut crease, but not. That way, they can still see my eyelid, but it looks like my eyes are lifted. Then we're gonna use that same fluffy brush that we had the bronzer on in, and we're gonna blend it out. We're gonna take a shimmery color and place your shimmer shadow on your eyelid below your crease and make sure to do the exact same thing on the other side. The next step to this routine is just to get your black eyeliner and draw a line to create a mini wing just outside of your eyelid like so. You use your finger and make like a boop. boop. Remember this palette that I used the peach color? I use the orange and red eyeshadow for blush as well. I use it for everything. I use it for eyeshadow. I use it for face powder. I use it for blush. I use this for my eyebrows sometimes. And then I use these for my highlighter. So what I do is sometimes I just go with the orange first and then I just dab the area. And then with that product, put it on my forehead and then around my face and then my nose. That's hack number three. I'm probably just gonna use this highlighter because I can't really be bothered. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Hello everyone, I just dysoned my hair, did mascara on my eyes. I am going to go back to my eyebrow pencil. So this is my hack number four. I actually use my eyebrow pencil as a lip liner. I don't have any brown lip liner, so I recently tested this out and it looked incredible when I did it. And I was so happy with the look. So here I am going in with my eyebrow pencil as my lip liner. I use the Dior Kabuki brush. It looks really, really dark right now, but once I put the lipstick, it actually doesn't look too bad. On the other side of the pencil, there's a kabuki brush that I'm just gonna use to diffuse a brown line on my lips. I don't want there to be such a harsh line of brown. So this is such a cool hack and definitely a product I will continuously buy for my eyebrows as well as my lips. And then I'm just gonna take that uh, Nude by Nature lipstick and then dab it in the middle of my lips. So there's a bit of an ombre effect going on. Here you just see me grabbing more liquid lipstick and I'm adding that on my cheeks. I don't mind that I'm putting this on powder actually because I've been watching a lot of Patrick Tar videos and I see him using liquid lipstick on top of powder. So it's actually such a cool technique if you want to create a more dewy look. I'm going to change my outfit now. Oh my god, I am running really late but I just need to quickly show you guys my outfit. So, okay, my hair... Dyson doubt it's already flat now. That's okay. My bag random bag that I got online and this yellow dress is from Beckenbridge and then my shoes is just this beige shoes I can't remember where I got it and then in the car I'm, I'm gonna put on my my earrings and my necklaces and I'm gonna show you in the car I gotta go now. I need to double check if I have my keys. I got my keys. Yes. Okay. Pardon? I'll say party. Pardon? 
birthday party. <laughs> no, it's actually an event that I'm going to today. Clinique, you know the brand Clinique? Oh yeah. Um, no. <laughs> Thank you. Baby girl, you are so pretty, 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 pretty. Baby girl, you are so pretty, 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 pretty. Females need you just to trick me, trick me, trick me, trick me. Cause baby girl, you are so easy to be. The only reason that I can do tonight is cause I know you will invite. The only reason that these dresses can tie is cause I thought that you were like it. The only reason that I can do Got ourselves a goodie bag. I'm so excited. Oh my god, you have no idea how happy I am to not be wearing heels right now. I don't know how I was able to walk in heels for hours and hours on end. <sighs> what did I notice with the events in Sydney? I felt like everyone was wearing black. I was one of the few people that was wearing colors. off now that i'm home from the event i'm actually gonna do a bunch of things i need to edit my video this video i need to edit that i need to clean up because look what mess i created earlier iron ironing board in the kitchen who even does that lots of rubbish yeah i have to eat something for dinner which is probably gonna be leftover from our nando's yesterday <laughs> I'm kind of loving this makeup. It's really simple, but it's so dewy. I don't know if it's just me because I'm oily. I don't know if it's just that or... It's time to show you what I got. Ready? ASMR. <laughs> we have the Moisture Surge Face Spray. I've never used this before, but I'm so excited. Oh, all over your makeup. Say less. I don't have a face spray yet. Ooh, it smells so good! I'm gonna be using this every single day. You have no idea. Number two, we have the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. Stop. First of all, let it smell. It doesn't really smell like anything. Which is good. When you're going to bed, you don't want your products on your face to smell really, really strong because then you won't be able to sleep. Yeah, it doesn't have any smell at all, which is really, really good, actually. Especially for people who are more sensitive to smell. And last but not the least is the Clinique Moisture Surge 100 Hour Auto Replenish Hydrator. Okay. Okay, ready? I have makeup on, so I'm not gonna try it on. But I know I've used this before and I'm obsessed with it. Oh, this is only $22. That's really good for a moisturizer from Clinique. It's amazing. I thought they would be like over $100. That's cool. So if you guys wanna get this, not that I'm advertising it, but it's actually really, really affordable. It's $22. Accessible starting price of just $22 dollars australian so if it's in the us it'd be like 15 dollars that's pretty good that's amazing actually okay we played a game earlier i'm gonna insert the video here i'm gonna show you guys what i got as a prize oh this is the viral black honey clinique lipstick Oh my god, I'm literally obsessed. Let me use this on my cheek. Okay. Cute! Stop it. I think this might be my new favorite product. you enjoyed coming along to the Clinique event with me it wasn't a lot of con like there wasn't a lot of footage because I was getting to know 
quite a few people. I was talking to quite a few people and I really enjoyed my time. I met some really lovely people. Honestly, I, I loved it so much. But if you enjoyed this vlog of mine, I can't wait for you guys to see what's next. Until then, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to put on your bell notification so you can be updated whenever I post a video. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Now that that's over, I need to go edit. I need to go do some editing. I might just take some content of some sort.